How's it going, Giddy? It's great to get you on the podcast. We've been working on getting this thing going for a while, and I'm actually really excited to, to hear about your background today and, and dive into you know the problem that you're solving because actually the problem that you're solving is pretty relevant to some of the work that I'm encountering right now, which is just a, a huge ocean of a problem I'm finding out. Can you imagine? So first of all, Joe, okay, thanks for having me here. It's my pleasure. Yeah, looking forward to a, a great discussion now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, wh why don't we start with telling your background, you know, how you got into IT, how you got into security, what made you want to go down that path? Was it something that interested you? You know, what what does that look like? Yes, yeah, so I would say it started the, actually when, when I was in high school, actually, I would say that I always loved programming, math, solving complex problems. I started to deal with cryptology. Uh, almost like as a hobby. And a couple of years after that, uh, I joined the Israeli military, right? Like every Israeli joined the 8200 unit, right? Like the Israeli NSA. And I happened to be, which I didn't know when I joined it, actually when I was recruited, but actually go to the same place. I like to deal with the same problems as I was a kid, right? Uh, on the cryptology side, served it for uh, X amount of years and then kind of moved on, moved on to the industry. But I would say that was kind of like cemented my love for data analytics, complex algorithm problems, and of course, dealing with the cybersecurity, which was not uh, the term terminology used then. It evolved along the way, but the cybersecurity type of problems uh, and finding the right solution for them. So always loved it, as I said, since I was a kid. So talk to me, okay, talk to me about the crypto side in 8200 group, right? I've had on a lot of 8200 group people, and I know you can't tell me any specifics or anything like that, obviously. I don't want you to you know, don't tell me anything you can't, right? But what is that like for for crypto? Can can you talk to me a little bit about like just what that looked like? Were you creating crypto algorithms? Were you deploying it in, you know, harsh environments or just what what is that? Yeah, so as you said, I cannot share much, but I can tell you that we dealt with code cracking at the end of the day, right? Like similar to what the NSA does, right? So at the end of the day, right, there's encrypted communication. A, of some sorts, and the job is uh, to find systematic ways to scale, right, to crack it. So that's what we were dealing with. Yes. Many years ago, I probably information uh, is uh, very, very out, uh, outdated by now, but that's how my career started, actually. Yeah, it's fascinating to me because, you know, like, you always think, you always think anything digital, like the NSA, the 8200 group, you know, Russia, China, they could just break into it, you know? You just kind of assume that as, like, an outsider, right? And then you read the story about how like the NSA and the CIA came together, created a company in Germany that was like, you know, creating these devices to sell to their, our adversaries that had a back door built into it. Right. Because we couldn't find out how to break the crypto that like, you know, just everyone is 